right here, I'm going to talk about a film called Elizabeth Harvest. I think I seen it on Tubi or something. Might have been Freebie. Who knows? Anyways, beautiful redhead young lady. Uh, she was a clone. This guy was a millionaire or a billionaire. And he had a mansion. And he kept cloning Eve, so to speak, to see if he could trust her. And she had free range over the entire house. Except the man told Elizabeth, you know, this one room was off limits. The rest of the house and the property and the estate was hers. But that one room, he did not want her to go in. And that was the room where he was cloning all the Elizabeth Harvest. And he wanted to know if he could trust her or if she was going to be someone who was going to go into that room. Well, here's what happens. Elizabeth does go in the room. And uh, it, it, obviously, he wasn't around, but it changed her behavior, okay? When she came into understanding things that she didn't quite uh, understand. So, the fact of the matter is this. When it comes to a harvest, okay, if you lie and you don't know how to lie, right, are you going to outlie a liar? Are you going to be able to outlie the devil? No. And then it becomes a pecking order on who can lie the best. So the, so the best liar is going to win that fight every single time. And you're going to be outmatched. You know, it's a big world when it comes to that type of situation. So the world is as Rome. And if Romans be lying and shit, you know what I'm saying? And you start telling lies, you're a newbie in the game. You're going to get devoured by the other sharks. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to have full tabs on you because they're going to have knowledge also. Okay? But if you're in a world and you begin to lie, and you lie to someone who tells the truth, then you're going to be exposed by that very lie, and it's going to show your ways as well. So here's the, here's the finite thing about lying. You can't lie to the liars, and you can't lie to the individual that tells the truth. OK, they're both going to end up finding out who you are and you're going to burn all your bridges. So at the end of the day, you become the harvest, OK, of all matter of men, OK, that walk according to the ways of this world. And there are entities that's been here far longer than you have. All right. So, you know what I'm saying? Just bear that in mind if you get into the scope of lying, because when you get into the scope of lying, OK, you're either dealing with another liar or you're dealing with someone who deals with the truth and that lie is not going to pass. All right. And the truth is the judge. So. Peace and blessings be with you all. I mean. You know, it's time to repent. This is the thing that, you know, John the Baptist would say and come back to God, because if you are known as you are known. OK, meaning. With the same set of discernment and what have you that you have towards the world, the world is going to place upon you and you cannot stand the siege. OK, you're going to get ripped apart. OK, you're playing with karma. OK, so if you're known as you are known, that means haven't we made little gods? That means you become the God of yourself. You become the judge and the ruler over your own life and if you tell lies and your mind tells you lies, which affects the projection of your reality, then you're going to manifest lies. And a lot of people think that this is going to bring them towards destruction in a way in which um, it, 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 it's going to be automatically some type of instant karma. That's not how it happens. A lot of times you are led down a road where you get many, you reap uh, 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 so many benefits, right? that you get washed out in a world full of lies then you fall okay then you fall after that all right so <laughs> bear that in mind when it comes to this world you understand what i'm saying um peace and blessings be with you all i'm out